The next action I want to show you is called solo in front. I have a project in front of me here with a guitar loop, kick, and drum loop. Let's hear it. And to hear each track separately, we could use the solo button right here. Just the guitar loop, just the kick, or just the drum loop. But if you notice, we're just hearing those tracks. We're not hearing any of the other tracks, which is how solo works. But we could also just hear a bit of those other tracks. And that's called solo in front, where the track we solo is in front, but we're still hearing the other tracks, just lower. And we could turn that on if we go to the options menu and choose this option, solo in front. And now if we solo our tracks, we're still gonna hear the other tracks just a bit lower. So the kick, notice this D button shows up, letting us know we're dimming this track, not turning it off. Notice how we hear the guitar loop and the drum loop just a lot lower. If we solo the drum loop, we still hear the guitar loop and the kick, but again, much lower. And how much lower is set in the preferences. Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac. If we choose Mute Solo, right over here is the setting for solo in front dimming. It defaults to minus 18, but we could change it to any setting we want. Let's change it to minus eight to make it more obvious. So now, if we solo the kick, these other tracks are gonna be minus eight lower. But we still hear them. So this. So we can still hear our tracks in context with the other tracks much lower. But the best part of this feature is we could adjust the dim level on the fly. If we go to our actions, show action list, and type in solo in front, there's an action right here to adjust the solo in front dim. And we could do it with the mouse wheel or any fader or knob on a MIDI controller. I'm gonna use the mouse wheel and set it with a whole bunch of modifiers. So now we can use that keyboard shortcut to adjust the dimming level. Let's solo the kick and lower it completely. And we just hear the kick. And now we can bring it up slowly to taste. Try the same thing with the drum loop and adjust it on the fly. or the guitar loop. So we adjust it completely on the fly based on the soloing we're doing. So we can hear the track in context with all the other tracks just dimmed, not completely muted. And when you want the old way, just turn it off right here. We're back to soloing normal. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.